What's poppin' everybody? Welcome to Tanner Does Tech, where tech swag and life just ain't the motto. It's the way things are done around here. So if you're feeling the content, please like, share, and subscribe. All right, let's get to this video. Yes, sir, yes, sir. This video out here is for everybody who's rocking with OBS and I look as for, and looking for some surefire hot settings, you know what I'm saying? So with these settings right here, Trust me, they're going to work. If you got Windows 10 and you got 8 gigs of RAM, you're going to be ready to go as soon as I tell you what's what. Because I've been trying for months, people. You don't even understand. I've been doing live streams and everything on YouTube and everything, and I got a nice little following. But my, my settings were so bogus. It'll freeze up or whatever. They were so damn terrible. They'll freeze up, jitter and all that stuff, and I had to restart my streams over and over again. It sucked, right? So I've been racking my brain and I came up with some settings so you won't complain. All right, y'all, let's get them. I have to open up the settings mode now. Okay, cool. For the general settings, only thing you need to worry about is the thing if you want it dark or light. I like it dark. Okay, cool. So your stream settings, you know, make sure that you're logged into your YouTube or Twitch account. And you got the stream key on deck, you know what I'm saying? So everything will flow fine. But obviously, you've been doing it because you know what the hell OBS is, right? All right, cool. No problem. Let's go to the output settings. Now, for the output mode, I got mine on advanced, you know what I mean? Because with advanced, I can tailor it and do a whole lot of stuff. So now I got the streaming tab checked. So for audio track, I got one audio track for live streaming. I don't need nothing else to get in the way because I'm just using my lav mic and that's it. For the encoder, I could choose Time64 or QuickSync H264. So my QuickSync H is my damn um, card, <laughs> my graphics card in there. So I selected that. So if you got NVIDIA or whatever, select NVIDIA. This, that, and the third. Now, for my rescale output, a lot of people tell you don't do it or whatever, but I checked it because I'm reco I record at 1080p but I stream at 720p, so the damn quality will be crisp. So check that and select 1280 by 720. Trust me, works like a charm. Then up under that, as for target usage, man, have it on balance. Then as for your profile, put your profile on high. Keyframe interval, put it on two. Async depth, put it on four. The rate control, select CBR, you know, constant bit rate. It makes sure, it makes sure that your stream always levels off and never dips down and up or nothing like that. So you won't lag or nothing like that. Select CBR. Then as far as your bit rate, throw in 3000 and you're good. Then go back up to the top because if you want to use this for recording, you can too. Let me show you my recording settings. Okay, I got the type of standard. I selected where I wanted to put my videos after they're done recording. Then under that, I use two or three video tracks because I be doing some wild stuff sometimes when I record. Then as far as my encoder, I got my, my video card again, my QuickSync H264. But if you ain't got one, just select times 264. You're good. Then for the rescale I put, I don't have that checked. So I'll be recording in 1080p and downloading in 1080p. So it's gonna be straight up 1080p HD. See, with streaming is different. I had to downscale because I get a better and more stable video stream out of 720 than I do 1080. I don't know why. I got great Wi-Fi <laughs> upload speeds over here, but that's just the way it is with YouTube. Now, as far as my, now down here, is my, as far as my target usage, I got it on balance. Get my profile on high again. Keyframe interval at two. Async depth at four. Rate control, CBR, constant bit rate, people. Constant bit rate. Then the bit rate, I got it at a thousand. I got it at a G. Trust me, this works like a charm. These settings right here that I, I'm giving you, ha, you're gonna love me. All right, cool, now let's go down to the audio settings. Now, my voice sounds pretty damn crisp, right? The mic I'm using only costs 15 bucks, people. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm a sound engineer. I know what I'm talking about. 
The sample rate that you want to have is 48 kilohertz. Channel stereo or whatever. Then if you want to go ahead and enable a mic or whatever, you select it down here. Or auxiliary device or whatever. But me, I don't. You know what I'm saying? So I just dis disable all that. Now let's go to the video tab. Now, the base resolution is 1080. I told you that I'm recording all the time in 1080 and everything. So I want the crisp recording and everything. But my output when it comes to the stream, <laughs> the video stream is, is, is what? Scaled to 720p. So I got a crisp but solid <laughs> video stream all the time. Now for the downscale filter, man, select by qubit 16 samples. Dope, dope, dope. Then under that, the common frames per second value, select 60. I'm, I'm pushing an Intel Core i5, so if you're pushing the, um, my i3, go 30, you won't fail. Trust me. Y'all gonna love me. I'm telling you, on your next stream, y'all gonna be like, man, Tanner does tech, told me the damn truth. <laughs> All right, let's go down to the advanced tab because I don't do the hotkeys or nothing like that. General, under general, the process priority, normal. Renderer, direct 3D 11. Skip the video adapter, go down to color format, NV12. Then down to YUV color space, 709. Then YUV color range, full. You want all the beautiful color range that you can get. Makes your whole stream pop, baby. No doubt about it. As far as the audio monitoring, de monitoring device default or whatever, it's pretty cool. Then down here, I, don't I, don't I didn't touch anything down here. Everything just is what it is. Hit apply and let it fly. And that just about does it. I'm telling y'all, man, I, saved, I, I had headaches trying to get this shit together. And I just saved y'all a whole lot of damn time, man. So y'all can get y'all stream on and get, them rump, and get them numbers up and get your subscribers on deck. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, man, thanks for joining me for this one and everything. I really appreciate y'all. No doubt about it. And um, if you're not doing anything on Wednesdays around 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern Time, tune into my channel and check out my live stream, Hump Day Havoc with Tanner Does Tech. Well, I give you the, the latest and greatest tech news, but at the same time, I do comedy skits and shit, so you're going to be laughing like hell. And also, I got a nice little stream on deck, too, full of good people. Very entertaining. I'd love to see you there. Well, all right, everybody. That just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your boy a thumbs up because I appreciate that. You know what I mean? If you have not subscribed to my channel yet to feel the whole magic and swag of Dan Tanner, please do that, too, because I appreciate that, too. Hi right, there, everybody. Get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. <laughs> Be easy.